We look back at stories of old, of heroes bold. At least, that's what we were told. But what about here, and what about now? We ask why, and we ask how. How do we do that today? Why don't we ever see it? You wonder what courage today is? Are you sure? So be it. When the darkness surrounds you, and your stupidity is conspicuous, to believe a celestial being exists when now religious really means superstitious, a brilliant plan so elegantly executed by our accuser, so clever, so grim. They don't have to believe in me, as long as they don't believe in him. In a world of lies, chaos, corruption, destruction, a generation of conceited skeptics raised and praised for brains. Your religion is dumb, naive, and insane. No one is looking to you for affirmation or inspiration. That is such a conceited, arrogant notion invented by Christians. You stand strong in your faith while others laugh in your face. Your own friends hail Mary and thank Jesus as a joke while their own existence is a result of the words that God spoke. But they cannot see that now. We are far too evolved. Intelligence has blinded us and the truth has been dissolved. The truth that they are loved. The truth that they are more. The truth that no one wants to hear. Because we are smarter than we have ever been before. You want so desperately for them to understand that this is not a hobby. Jesus was not just a man. You try as hard as you can. You feel the time slip away through your fingers like sand. So you die every time you see them. Because you know when they die, you won't see them. You are stupid to believe in a being while science proves otherwise. Science with machines we invented and measurements we took to prove false a God whose only evidence is a book. Because we turn a blind eye to the stars in the sky, their existence declares his name straight from the Bible's first page because our science does not compensate for the absence of their billion-year-old age. In all this you stand firm as a rock that cannot be budged. For the truth that has been trampled like a leaf and scattered like dust, you must, you must, you must stand. The music cannot be played if no one knows the director of the band. You stand because you see the long-term effects of a musician who listens and properly plays while the director directs. The music is sweet. It cradles the whole room. The intelligence, the complexity, of the director's tune. When you want, with all your heart, to declare the world wrong, but you know in your mind that that is no way to get others to sing your song, the song of love, the song of truth, the song that everyone despises among our youth, including you. You despise the very song you sing, deep down in your nature because it leaves you floating, exposed and raw for all to laugh, gloating, the fool who was foolish for fooling themselves, praying to hollow shells and empty dreams and wishing wells, who sells themselves as slaves to the holy hell that saves. Praise, praise to the dying of the light, the rise of the night, the sound of angels' wings taking flight. Try you may and try you might, despite your holy plight, this world hates you and the light. So speak not of the truth and never again be forthright. For then you will delight in the world and know the night. But know that it is in the darkness that the light will shine the most bright. To be exposed is a gift. To be laughed at is an honor. You are hated because you know love. You are his child and he is your father. To say, I know Jesus and he is my savior. He was born in a manger, died and rose the third day. In this world, that is what courage is. Today, 